My friends, you are about to discover the biggest new feature that is launching on internet computer this year, which is amazing because there's so much competition. Chinky Bitcoin, Chinky Ethereum were launched on internet computer. And yet when I watch the videos talking about vet keys, where the people on internet computer Definity that are developing vet keys, they said this is the biggest feature they're launching this year. I'm going to cover why this is huge for internet computer while uh, responding to the chat live and answering as many questions as I can. If somehow you are new to internet computer, internet computer is the only crypto platform in the world where you can build the full stack completely on chain. You can build your website as I have my website, jerrybanfield.com, where you can schedule a call with me, join my open chat, etc. This is hosted on internet computer. It doesn't require using third-party services. Internet computer is the most advanced technology in crypto. It's the only place you can build everything on chain. And VetKeys is a big breakthrough for internet computer because one of the keys for enterprise and government adoption and many use cases on internet computer is privacy. Vet Keys now makes internet computer the most, once they get everything fully deployed and working on it, the most advanced privacy chain out there where you can have entire dApps using Vet Keys built on chain and the data is all encrypted. This is a huge deal and is going to lead to from everything I see, massive adoption. This, of course, is educational and entertaining material for your to assist you in doing your own research based on what I've done with myself and my own money. I have put everything into Internet Computer, and after months of making every one of my videos about Internet Computer, I have collaborated with Definity to make a video I was going to make anyway through the Community Grants Program and a sponsorship. So let's take a look at what exactly are vet keys. Vet keys, this is the cutting edge of technology in crypto. Verifiable encrypted threshold keys, something that as far as I see is only on internet computer. This is a feature with ongoing development on internet computer and you can get this answer if you go to internetcomputer.org and you have questions about internet computer, you can ask the on-chain ICP AI to uh, crawl through all the documents and answer your questions. So what I did is I asked the ICP.AI, what are vet keys? And here's what vet keys are. I Prior to watching this, I also, or, or, yeah, watching this, prior to doing this presentation, I have also read through the documentation myself, watched hours of videos from Definity explaining vet keys in more detail than I could really comprehend and uh, then looked at demo apps using vet keys so i've done a good bit of research prior to this however i do my own research to decide where i put my money and that's one of the most valuable things you can do so here's what vet keys are and you can get the same answer to anything on internetcomputer.org vet keys enables several cryptographic functionalities on icp with the primary motivation being to facilitate on-chain encryption Ugh. On-chain encryption. So why is on-chain encryption important? Because right now, for example, I have an open chat community here. This is the, there's over 600 members in this. This has rapidly passed my Discord as my most popular community online where Jerry Banfield lovers come join in and are able to chat with me. The Jerry Banfield University is, it's not really a server because this is an application running a community. The Jerry Banfield University community is running on open chat with open chat, which is on internet computer protocol. This community I've got is on chain directly on internet computer. When you join, there's a free for all channel where everybody can talk. Then there's some channels I prioritize and notifications right now. All the messages in this are not encrypted which if you're not really you know talking about anything crazy if you're just asking general jerry banfield questions and having regular old discussions that's not really a problem 
However, if I wanted to, for example, send somebody a message with sensitive info or a secret phrase, which I'm not sure why I would want anybody besides my wife to have access to things like that right now, but it, let's say I did, or I wanted to tell somebody something that I didn't want to keep secret or that I, that I wanted to keep between just me and them, which I don't have anything like that, so that makes my life easy, but you can see there's a lot of use cases where you might not want everybody to be able to see exactly what you were saying and who you were saying it to. Now, I find a transparent life with as few things like that as possible to be ideal. That said, in the past, I used to have lots more secrets. So for something like Open Chat, right now, all the messages are not encrypted, which means they can be read uh, theoretically by anybody. However, with vet keys coming, Things like all the messages on OpenChat will be able to be encrypted, where theoretically they could not be read and except by people having access to them. S some apps like Telegram have gotten very popular by having encrypted messages. OpenChat has hundreds of thousands of users already because it's completely on chain, because there's a token with it, and that's all without vet keys. Vet keys are huge because of providing on-chain encryption, which is absolutely amazing. Again, another technological breakthrough for internet computer that nothing else has. They just keep hitting home runs here. Chris, thank you very much for the gift membership. So let's look at more about, I've given you first a big level picture of why this is important. Because there's enterprises and governments are not likely to want to use ICP until this feature is fully functional because governments are gonna to want to put sensitive private data on the chain and they're going to want it to be encrypted so that it can't be accessed by everybody. Jay, thank you for the $2. If you want to drop tips, go to Jerry that are not getting scraped for 40 to 70%. You can go to jerrybanfield.com and do the live tips with USD or you can do crypto tips with the link on jerrybanfield.com, I will go ahead and copy, I, I'll paste that in there for you. But that's on jerrybanfield.com. So what you're seeing with vet keys is a feature that is critical to getting mass adoption at the highest levels on internet computer, which is probably why I was surprised when I listened to the presentation where they said that vet keys is the most important feature they're launching this year. I'm like, really? This is, this is the most important feature. And there's the link. If you want to donate crypto directly without, and it comes instantly to my wallet, use the 1UP coin donate Jerry Banfield link. So what is vet keys? We're going to go much deeper into this, and I'll answer as many questions as I can. Vet keys allows developers to more easily perform encryption, threshold decryption, and signing when building dApps on ICP. It's powered by a protocol called VetKD, verifiably encrypted threshold key derivation that allows decryption keys to be derived on man demand. So what does that mean in more simple language? It means that the nodes work together the same as they do with like chain key Bitcoin and chain key Ethereum, where the nodes have these shared or threshold keys, where if you have enough nodes with a part of the key, then you can sign transactions. They've taken that same basic idea and put that into encryption on internet computer where nodes can work together to create a master secret key, which then none of the nodes have access to individually. They all have a little share of the key. And assuming the majority of the nodes are honest and not compromised, then the nodes can work together to sign transactions. None of the nodes have access to the key itself. And then the, the nodes can start deriving these keys where then you can, anyone can now start to access and use these keys with all while the master key that derives these is sharded among the nodes. And therefore there's not a centralized entity that is doing the encryption or creating these keys. So that is really valuable. France, how do I, all right, France, Bata, Batil? Thank you for the $20 super chat. I am very grateful to be in this together with you. Thank you for your big super chat here supporting the stream. 
So let's continue reading further. The vet keys feature introduces a new primitive called vet KD. A primitive, if you read through the documentation on this, because this, this gets pretty technical, a primitive is like kind of a basic thing in cryptography. Something like public signing keys, where you can use a private key to create a transaction that's signed publicly so that everybody publicly can verify that that transaction was signed by the private key. You have something like public signatures is another form of a primitive, if I'm remembering the documentation and the language correctly, this, this is a big deal because this is expanding the field of cryptography with a new primitive, VETKD, which extends the functionality of a primitive known as identity-based encryption, which that's a whole rabbit hole you can go down yourself. But basically, identity-based encryption is that my identity allows me to uh, encrypt something and then send messages with someone else that their identity can allow them to decrypt it, which is awesome. Stan says, was Enterprise waiting to jump aboard with ICP when this feature was installed? I imagine this is a huge component to Enterprise adoption, vet keys, because Enterprises are not going to want to have all their data publicly available on chain. Obviously, there's some things they would want to have on chain and they'd want to use the infrastructure, but then they're, I'll, I'll explain the apps that you can build with this and we'll just jump into that right now. So what kind of applications can you build with vet keys? For example, you can build a form, something like Airtable or Google Forms. You can build that with vet keys where you could put a form link out there that's hosted directly on chain. Then you can submit the form. The form can be submitted where you can have the form submitted and this data from the form encrypted with vet keys so that only the person who is then has access through the vet keys can actually read the data. Right now, without vet keys, you can't make something like a form application, at least practically, I, I imagine it's technically possible, but it's not very easy to make something like a form application right now on internet computer, where if people are submitting personal information like email addresses and phone numbers, it could be problematic for having that data submitted like that without using vet keys because the data, because it's on chain theoretically could just it is out there for anyone potentially to observe. So with vet keys, you really need vet keys for most enterprises to want to be able to use internet computer because with vet keys, they can choose which information they want to keep private, which information they want to then make available publicly. Then they can build applications that leverage private data. Think something like an airplane ticket booking application you would need to be able to leverage private data like passport or identity verification where you can prove you're a resident of a certain country over a certain age, for example. With vet keys, you can now do that, which means all these, most of all the enterprise applications you use rely on data that at least is private to them and is in many cases encrypted. So with encrypted data on internet computer now, this really opens up for enterprises to build and governments of countries that obviously will have lots of data they'll want to keep private and they'll want to be able to use that private data directly on chain with the public data. There's nothing, there is absolutely nothing else like internet and crypto. It's kind of amazing that nobody else has made anything like this. And now there is it's it's so far ahead it'd be difficult to try and catch up with it at this point be so the one can a couple of conditions i've taken on with being in the community grants program is i'm not talking price action on any video that i've done in the community grants program so this is a part of that so i i will not be talking any price action what i can say is that gold dow if you look at Gold Dow, we've seen a launch on Internet Computer recently on the Internet Computer Launchpad. The Gold Dow launch has been huge, and it looks like people have recently 
either had the ICP in their wallet or bought the ICP off of exchanges to participate in Gold Dow. So there's been right now on Gold Dow, people have put in, and I put in 50 to this. I did my last live stream two days ago about this. So you search Jerry Banfield Gold Dow. I covered that. I put 50 ICP into this. And others collectively have put 290,000 ICP in the first two days of this one single new coin based on real world assets launching on internet computer. So I would imagine a lot of this recently came straight off exchanges and people have locked it up in here. And the vast majority of all the ICP in this project, according to what Gold Dow has said, they are going to lock this for at least eight years so that is a huge deal and that's an example for other projects that are interested in having similar levels of support and excitement so this this is probably going to be a model that lots of people copy and also use in their launches going forward because having all that icp locked up then gives a lot of concrete value to the gold dow token when will you add your ghost neuron? I do not have hardly any ghost right now. Good question was asked before about is internet computer quantum resistant? Internet computer is the first adaptive blockchain. And this is a great example. VetKey is a great example of an adaptive blockchain in action. Internet computer, according to Dominique Williams, the founder of internet computer and Definity, internet computer is the first adaptive blockchain which means it is self-upgrading. There's no developers that have backdoor keys that are able to fork and unlock and make the blockchain do certain things. The internet computer is governed by the network nervous system, which is composed of proposals that people make that are then voted on that upgrade the network. There have been hundreds of thousands of proposals made with hundreds of major upgrades to the network already in just the first couple years of existence. I saw the hundreds of thousands. That seems slightly exaggerated based on that would be more than 10 proposals a day. I'm not sure how that's being categorized, but right now I can see there are multiple new proposals a day, probably five or 10 proposals a day on average, which would mean there's been that may be close to tens of thousands of proposals total. Although if you look at the internet computer dashboard, I think it agrees with that other statistic I saw. So if you, if you look at the internet computer dashboard, it'll tell you how many proposals are on there. It says there's been 126,000 network nervous system proposals. Maybe that includes all the service nervous systems and stuff, but internet computer protocol is the first adaptive blockchain in the world. Adaptive blockchain mean it upgrades itself based on the proposals people make. The hardware is constantly being upgraded. There's different generations of nodes. And if you saw the proposals I was just showing, there's proposals to move nodes from one subnet to another, to upgrade nodes operating systems, to upgrade various parts of the blockchain, assign nodes to certain subnets and IDs to certain operators. Internet computer protocol is the most prepared that I see in crypto for quantum computing because this has been built with quantum computing in mind from the beginning. Unlike Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not well prepared for quantum computing as far as I see. Things like Satoshi's stash will be vulnerable to quantum computing no matter what unless they make it so it unless they set like a time deadline where you have to upgrade by, which seems unlikely. So internet computer to me is, from what I see, is the most prepared for quantum computing by far. I have locked my internet computer up for eight years as well. And the vet keys, the vet key release, this is a huge feature because privacy, on-chain privacy, like this is something that doesn't exist right now outside of sending transactions on privacy blockchains. There's nowhere else where you can build like a privacy on-chain encrypted app right now. This is a breakthrough feature 
That is a huge deal, which is why I'm in internet computer for the long term. This is just one of many innovations they've made this year. Vet keys allow for end-to-end -end encryption, sophisticated access policies, and sophisticated access policies are critical for enterprises where you're going to have people with different access levels to the system where you don't want all the employees to be able to access all the customer data where you can with vet keys you'll be able to set up different levels of access where let's say a uh, entry level customer service person could access one level of private data all the way up to the ceo who theoretically could get at everything and then all of that would be encrypted on chain which is amazing I find uh, many of you have asked about the investing strategy and uh, what I've learned since 2014 in crypto is to focus your research on the technology. Focus on the technology. VetKeys is an example of breakthrough technology that nobody else has in crypto. And once you find it, want research and focus on the technology, the teams, and then what I do is just dollar cost average Keep putting in and stay in for the long, long, long term. Vet keys to me is just another of many signs that Internet Computer has the absolute best technology in crypto and that I, uh, I want to be in this for the long, long, long haul because we don't even we don't even have any apps that have been there are some test applications that have been built with vet keys but i don't think we even have any production apps using vet keys yet what i reflect on in my history in crypto is it didn't really matter at what point you bought bitcoin in 2011 12 13 14 15 16 maybe you get into 2017 but basically any point you buy bitcoin at from 2011 to 2016 like it doesn't matter that much so that's how I see it with internet computer. Like if you look at the technology that this has, if you look at the technology this has, it's there's nothing, nothing better. There's nothing better. There's nothing else that I'm aware of that's working on this like vet keys, verifiable encrypted threshold keys, where you've got on-chain privacy and encryption for building apps that can have mass adoption, reverse gas fees. This is nuts, man. Let me see if there's any more questions I can ask. I am just totally focused on the internet computer ecosystem now because this is the this is the best of the best in crypto. There, hey, thank you, Jay Classic. Jay Classic with the fifteen twenty dollar Canadian straight into my PayPal. Thank you very much, Jay Classic, for cutting a middleman out. You get the little sound notification for using the link on jerrybanfield.com, and that'll stay up there for like three minutes. Thank you very much, Jay Classic, for the big 20 bomb. I have the vast majority of my ICP locked up here. Celtic Knight says, will governments use vet keys if they adopt ICP technology, and will th then this tech uh, service everyday user? Vet keys to me is the critical element that is needed prior to enterprise adoption and governments fully pushing into this. So yes, to me, vet keys, vet keys now is where governments and enterprise have the technology that they can build everything on chain and then keep the things that need to be kept private, private, while then uh, deploying everything else publicly. For like a country like El Salvador, now uh, you've got chain key Bitcoin. They have Bitcoin as legal tender. With vet keys, they could build government created payment applications where you have your identity verified by the government, kept secret, but on chain through uh, vet keys. And then uh, through that, you could have your digital wallet built completely on internet computer and you could transact in the government's currency, chain key Bitcoin. You could theoretically swap directly or use a, a dex on internet computer to swap directly among the different currencies vet keys i again was shocked that they said this is the most important feature they've launched this year and i'm just like really you know more than all the other stuff this is this is huge there's more use cases for get vet keys which are interesting as well because you could have things like a dead man switch where 
This could be nice if you've got a huge bag of crypto and you want to be able to pass it on to somebody. If you let go of this physical incarnation and move into another one, you could have a dead man switch where if you don't access your wallet for a year or two years, that somebody else would be able to get access to your wallet that where you could, you know, have have like an inheritance essentially directly for your crypto. You could have secret bid auctions, minor extractable value protection. These things are really needed. Time lock encryption, which is cool. You could do a time capsule and put some stuff in there and release it at a certain period in the future. One-time programs, verifiable randomness for gaming and on-chain gambling. Bet keys will be huge for verifiable randomness. Warband Gamer, thank you very much for the $5 super chat for on YouTube. Yes, this vet keys to me is one of the most clear signs of game-changing technology on internet computer. I mean, you've already got Chanky Bitcoin, Chanky Ethereum, first Bitcoin and Ethereum layer two in the world. Now with vet keys, um, this is a whole nother level. On-chain encryption, nuts. I, I think ICP adoption is going to grow rapidly as we saw. I'll pull up a tweet from Dominique Williams where he's talking about big, he has big expectations for adoption in 2024. And while some have been critical of ICP's organic-based marketing approach, I think this is the exact right approach. Now look at this. Here's a tweet from the... Founder and chief scientist at Definity, which is the lead contributor to Internet Computer, the largest research and development team in blockchain. Notice that there's just been this talk about vet keys and vet keys releasing. And at the same time, Dom posted that in 2024, ICP technology will enter the enterprise IT market. Imagine something like Open Chat running 100% on chain with no need for firewalls or cybersecurity. The number one enterprise problem is the security. ICP is a real tech solution. The underlying issue up until this point, though, is that things like Open Chat right now, as I've said, don't have that encryption, so you don't have the privacy with it. But now with VetKeys, we are prepared for the enterprise IT market, which is really exciting. Yes, something like a time capsule is great for a trust fund that can be done with VetKeys. Let's see what other questions we... Uh... Don, you sent $100 in Bitcoin. Is how the wallet so... On the, in the network nervous system, you have a wallet which has addresses. And if you... Uh, you might need to tell me, like, what context did you send in Bitcoin? Like, did you send that to Internet Computer? Did you send it to me? How did that work? Now, some of you have asked about the tokenomics for ICP. So uh, there's one really important thing for the tokenomics on any crypto. The, the most important thing for the tokenomics is what utility is the token going to have? It doesn't matter if your token's deflationary and there's only one of them if zero people use it or if just one person uses it. So the biggest thing that's not discussed in Internet Computer is with all of the technology... The internet computer is innovating from vet keys to chain key Bitcoin to chain key Ethereum to having the first fully on chain crypto development platform. The big thing that you can see with internet computer is the token itself has massive utility. You can use the token in the only way you can. Internet computer is used to create cycles and cycles are a fiat pegged. Uh, kind of like a current, a fiat pegged payment system for the nodes. Here's how it works. So I have my website on internet computer at jerrybanfield.com. In order to pay the internet computer protocol to host my website, I have to burn internet computer protocol or ICP. I have to burn the token. Then I get cycles. The cycles are pegged to fiat and have a fixed cost based on how much computation I ask the network to do for me. And based on that, then right now there's six, there's about six billion cycles being burnt a second, which has been consistently going up. That 
That's how you pay to use the network. So I see you have to burn ICP to pay to use the network. That's gives ICP massive utility because this is the only way you can pay to use the networks by burning ICP. And uh, the since the price of cycles is pegged to fiat, then uh, the lower the ICP price is, the more you have to burn of ICP to get cycles. The higher it is, the less ICP needs to be burned for cycles. Dam Damjan Zlat Zlatnar, thank you for the 10 euro super chat. I really appreciate the uh, your another super chat from you and being a member. Really appreciate you here. Thank you for the 10 euros. Jay, I imagine there will be one day. In fact, if you look at the partnerships Definity's made with Taurus, it looks like things are set up nicely for that. So the main thing you need to consider with, I, with any crypto is how good is the technology? What kind of a need is there for this technology? And uh, what kind of you know utility is there going to be for the token? On internet computer, you have to burn ICP to pay to use the network. So picture governments and enterprises having to burn ICP to pay to use the network. And then you also, the voting on ICP is done by the ICP that you've locked up in exchange for voting power. And then when you lock up ICP in exchange for voting power, then you get rewards based on how long you've locked it up and uh, how long you've left it there. Right now, the rewards are 16.2% if you lock for eight years and you keep getting an age bonus that also increases it. So the internet computer token has the best technology behind it. It has the most, from what I see, possible utility. The internet computer token, I don't see anything else that has this much possible utility in the future. And then when you consider, that's the starting point. Like that's the very first starting point of research is to consider what possible utility, what possible utility does the token have? And then from there, it makes sense to dive into the tokenomics. And the fact is, if you look at ICP circulation, the facts indicate that the real inflation for ICP we can do some simple math and you and I can see it clearly. So we'll do some simple math. 493 million, 493,099, 493,099,255 divided by what's the current supply today? The current supply today is 511,194,877. And in, uh, I missed a zero in there somewhere. <laughs> All right, so let's, oh, the, the total supply is right here. So paste the total. Hey, no, it's not invalid. Oh, it's invalid because of these stinking commas up on the top. Okay, so this is the total supply right now, 613. And you're gonna, we're going to divide that by the supply that existed a year ago, 493. 493, 099. 490 all right we'll even go a little a little back 96707 so the actual inflation has been 3.67% that's the real inflation over the last year that's the real inflation now 3.67% actual inflation with the best technology in crypto one innovation after another the best to me, potential for government worldwide mass adoption. I mean, you you can you put 3.6% inflation with the best technology in crypto, it's it's obviously acceptable. It is in fact inflation is somewhat desirable because if there's constant deflation, then uh, there's less incentive to even use your money. Because if it's constantly deflating, you might as well just hold it and not do anything, which there's definitely value to that. But that also discourages innovation. Because why bother innovating when you can just hold it and it'll go up in value? Does that make sense? Yes, Lexitrix, Definity says VetKeys is their biggest innovation in the last 10 years. Now that's, I hadn't even heard it put that way. I heard them say it was the biggest release this year. But Lexitrix says that, Definity says, 
This is their biggest innovation in the last 10 years. And this is not possible anywhere else right now because in order for these vet keys to exist, you first has to have to have the whole internet computer system set up that's based on threshold cryptography. Threshold cryptography, which that itself is a massive breakthrough in crypto and then vet keys are based on that. Unknown says, what's your highest viewer count while being live? I think this on this crypto channel, it may be it. I uh, had, uh, if you want sheer quantity, but not necessarily quality, on uh, Facebook, I had three th over 3,000 watching back when I used to do gaming videos. I, at various points, I since deleted my Facebook page. However, if you consider the average watch time plus the viewers on here, the actual attention is much higher. If you want my price prediction videos, you can search. I, I did price prediction videos. For internet computer, just look up Jerry Banfield price prediction. So this, the project Definity goes back to, if you want to look more about Definity's history, I also did a significant video on that, where if you look at, I did a video talking about the founder of Definity, Dominic Williams. So yes, thank you. This, I think 270 is the highest we've got to on this crypto channel. So I really appreciate you all being here. If you want much more info about Definity and the founding, the founder and the history of internet computer, it goes back about 10 years ago with Definity being founded around seven or eight years ago. This has been a long time coming to get where we're at today. It's amazing. And uh, I have videos explaining why I sold my Solana very clearly. The way everything runs on ICP is cycles, yes. Cycles is the fiat pegged currency that you, the only thing you do with cycles is pay to use the network and you have to burn ICP. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Why is Definity based in Switzerland? Because the legal environment in Switzerland seems most supportive for founding a, for having Definity there versus anywhere else. Yes, ICP, when you combine vet keys, let, let's let's picture, let's look at vet keys in the bigger picture. So vet keys, and if you want more documentation on this, when you go to internet computer and you ask the ICP AI and you put in, it'll give you this basic description, then it'll send you more articles here. And you can look in and read much more on this. What you can start to picture with vet keys is, let's say I'm a government like El Salvador, and I want my people to be wealthy, and I want my people to get off of depending on US dollars, and I want my people all over the world to be able to transact with each other and pay each other easily. If I'm a government like El Salvador with vet keys, now I can build a payments application with identity verification, and I can get all my people in my country now using on internet computer. El Salvador could even probably set up their own nodes, potentially their own subnet. They could set their own nodes up and start getting paid node rewards, build their own applications for payments where everybody could transact directly with their phone with almost no fees, and they could do it in El Salvador's local currency, chain key Bitcoin, chain key Ethereum, and anything else on ICP, including ICP. So this looks like this is a technology where governments and enterprises really start to get involved in it. And that's exactly what Dominic is talking about next year is. And it, it if you listen to some of these presentations, they have partnerships they can't publicly announce yet where it looks like based on what think about what Dominique is saying here and then compare what Dominique's saying with vet keys being the biggest thing Definity has launched recently allowing for on-chain encryption which allows is essential for enterprise and uh, government big organization adoption Dominic knows about things that are developing on ICP and from what he's saying, enter, enter the enterprise IT market, from what I can see here and interpret, there are big projects that are building on the technology right now that nobody knows about. 
and Definity is not allowed to publicly talk about these big projects and collaborations. But what it makes crypto difficult is there's so much talk and things like this and speculation. But Celtic Knight, thank you very much for the five dollar Australian super chat. Really appreciate your continued support. What you can see is that ICP actually has the technology to get this kind of adoption. That now, if I'm an enterprise and I want, or a government, or a small, even even a business, a small business like me, I just want to have my website hosted somewhere where it's on a decentralized infrastructure where it's cheap and scalable and simple an internet computer just for me as a youtuber just for me hosting my website and internet computer makes way more sense than hosting it anywhere else now yes if i was purely concerned with my own profits i would not have told anyone about icp and i would have stacked 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 and not even mentioned it but I'm concerned with building a world full of wealthy people. It looks to me like internet computer, and you've got very clear signs that are not just speculation, but you have breakthrough technology that's being publicly presented on the website. If you want to learn more about this stuff, search for Vet Keys, Vet Keys ICP. I've watched half of this hour long presentation. Thank you, Dom Jean, for the one. Jerry Banfield gift sub membership. Really appreciate it. Along with your super chat. And then here's another hour long presentation that I watched the whole thing. And this is where we're at now. I watched this whole presentation talking about vet keys two months ago. This presentation giving you an idea of what can be built with vet keys on internet computer. So these, this is what I've done prior to making this live stream to show you like what this, what this means for everybody. Joker's wild. This is exactly where I see the value of this because right now, cryptocurrency is the one of the biggest places in the world where if you're trying to build an application on cryptocurrency, you really need the entire structure of the application to be on chain for it to have its true potential and true value. If you have 99% of the application and the resources and the computing hosted in a private infrastructure like Amazon or Google, it doesn't really matter which one, then you can't, your app is not decentralized at all. Some of the things like we see recently with Ledger, these things are possible because things like Ledger are built on a centralized infrastructure where all you have to do is hack the front end and then you can do whatever you want to with it. Now, that said, ICP is on the cutting edge of technology. It Perhaps we have not seen some of the problems that it can potentially have, though. So understand that there, everything has some risk associated with it in life, and that's why you need to really do your own research. I love the internet computers organic marketing approach, which is why I was drawn to it because I have a lot of experience 12 years in marketing online. I see the value of doing things organically. Say vet keys one more time. <laughs> yes, I'm remembering Pulp Fiction now. <laughs> so if you want to learn much more about vet keys and see where this is going, vet keys... I'll say vet keys a few more times. Like vet keys to me is is your clearest sign of where things are going and uh, what is going to be possible. And you've got vet keys plus Dominic talking about the number one enterprise problem is security and the 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 biggest need we have in crypto right now is to make blockchain apps that are truly decentralized and they're not vulnerable to being hacked on the front end or being rug pulled by a central team of developers and this vet keys is like wow i'm really excited about vet keys what i notice is so many of you guys are so focused on i see some most so many of your questions are about you know where are these things going to be at the end of the bull run 
Don't worry about that. I'm not thinking about that stuff on a daily basis. And this is the this is why ICP to me is the only thing I'm interested in in crypto. Because this is what they're thinking about. Like they're, you know, the founder of ICP is not like posting about the price and, uh, you know, bull run targets. He's posting about building some infrastructure that's really needed in the world and that has massive utility and technology that nothing else out there can do this right now. If you think like that, then you don't have to worry about all these little many what I I have one on one calls on my website. I had one yesterday and what I noticed so many of you spend so much time having your brain process useless information. Go back to what I said about Bitcoin. It doesn't really matter whether you got into Bitcoin as long as you held in 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16. All the price discussion, all the short-term charts, all of that was irrelevant. Isn't it? I remember when I first got into Bitcoin, I put so much of my computation power into the price, and that is a waste of your time. That is a waste of your time. Stop thinking about that. Stop thinking about that. Stop trading and start researching technology. Start looking at bigger market picture. What is actually needed in the world? And why are people going to build on it? Start looking at what kinds of things are actually getting used. This is how I discovered internet computer. And I know crypto is very confusing. Crypto is confusing because there's a lot of bad information most of crypto most of crypto is people giving you useless information and stealing your time and your money that's most of crypto i quit crypto because i saw that in 2018 that most of crypto is lies coins that have no value and people wasting your time talking about those i found icp because i'm like okay where is the real value where is the real value in crypto? What is really happening? This is the real value, making technology that has huge use cases that is very much needed that nobody else has and explaining exactly how it works, innovating in the field of cryptography, demonstrating apps that can be built on chain that will allow privacy preservation, and then looking at apps like OpenChat where this technology is already being demonstrated. People love open chat. This is the very best application I see. If you're a crypto creator, the ideal place to build a community is open chat. I've tested this myself. My open chat has grown way faster. I mean, like five times faster than my Discord, my Telegram, and then either of those. I mean, this is one of the fastest, some of the fastest growth I've ever seen in any communities online. This is internet computer. <laughs> I uh, so it makes sense if you if you think I'm a bit too op optimistic. I'm assuming you think I'm a bit too optimistic about internet computer. I've been in crypto 9 years. There's three things I've seen that have really impressed me. Bitcoin in 2014, e Ethereum in 2016. But for both of those, I was too short term too short-sighted, too obsessed with the price movements to really realize the full value of either of those. And the third thing I've seen in crypto that's really impressed me is internet computer because these are breakthrough technologies. And when you make a breakthrough in technology, you're going to have enterprise IT getting on board. You're going to have governments getting on board. And when that happens, you know, that's where I want to be positioned. And I don't care about the day-to-day -day price of ICP. You want to let go of that. Focus on what's happening with the technology. What kind of projects are launching on ICP? Jay Classic, thank you for the five dollars. Is that what that went directly in from PayPal? Headlines of 2024, particularly the tech. So I see if if we look at Dominic's tweet here as an indication, if we look at Dominic's 
tweet as an indication. This to me looks like some of the biggest news for ICP. So we put together vet keys and we know that enterprises can now build applications that have private data within them, encrypted data, plus they can build everything on chain. To me, some of the enterprise the enterprise adoptions of ICP will probably be some of the biggest technology. However, there are there are many more things that are going to be huge for ICP adoption as well. So you've got voluntary recycling credits that Dominique presented. Fully on-chain services like this are huge for almost every use case you can imagine because of exactly what it said. Communities can be in control. The DAO governance on internet computer, 125,000 proposals. I mean, the, the DAO governance, the speed of innovation on internet computer is amazing. And what I, some of these projects that launch on internet computer, like if you look at Gold DAO, this raised millions of dollars. Gold DAO raised millions of dollars in a few hours yesterday, uh, two days ago for real world assets on chain. So I would say less about in terms of like what the specific news is going to be. And what I see is that the quantity of news, the sheer quantity of news related to internet computer that's coming in 2024 is going to be nuts because it takes time to build applications. The EU subnet, yes, the EU subnet is a big deal where you can have the GDPR compliant EDU subnet on there. Gold back stable coins, real world assets on chains. DAOs, on-chain gaming. The, what I see with ICP is that there's there's going to be so many different news pieces that break on ICP. Like for for many cryptos, the this would like something like vet keys would be the only innovation they have at all, and just that by itself is huge. But internet computer, the sheer quantity of innovation on internet computer is astounding until you look at Definity.org and you see that they're the largest research and development team in blockchain, starting with Dominic Williams, Jan. You know, you've, you've got an incredible, arguably, arguably you have the most talented team of cryptographers and blockchain experts or developers, blockchain researchers in the entire space at Definity. So the outlook I see is that the sheer quantity of news and people and corporations building crypto recovery. Thank you very much for the 12 euro super chat. Good to see you. Thank you for the rockets. So I saw a comment up here that's that's good because before I went all in on ICP, I intentionally looked up every single criticism I could find of ICP. And one, and I thought of every possible risk. I did a dedicated live stream talking about every risk I see with ICP. There is somebody who said up here, what if Amazon launches their own version of ICP? Well, first of all, Definity, for better or worse, has the most of the talent you would need to do that already appears to be working at Definity. And from their point of view, why would they leave to work on something new? So the talent you would need to do that is already at Definity. Now, yes, there's other people. But the second big thing is Amazon or Google, they are, I, I've we've talked about this in detail in some of the videos. It would be sabotaging themselves to a large degree to try and put out a network like Internet Computer Protocol because they'd be shooting their own network in the foot doing that. For example, when you if you put out... Now, another scenario I see is that Google and Amazon try and make their networks integrated with crypto and more open access. So the, the biggest possible thing I do see with ICP is that if Amazon and Google actually, Microsoft stepped up their game and they, uh, they set out to build a section of their network that was basically like Internet Computer Protocol, then they they have the resources to build up a network in theory 
that could be a lot bigger, have a lot more computation power. However, because they're huge enterprises, they're often slow to innovate. They're often slow to see the need to do something like that. And uh, Definity with Internet Computer has such a big head start and has all the stuff functioning, in many ways, it's kind of too late to do that. So uh, there's, there's definitely risks that are possible with Internet Computer. However, they've been doing a really good job in terms of the technology and innovating and expanding the technology. They've been doing really good so far. So the track record to me, as far as building out technology that is the best in the world, I don't see anything better. So they've been doing really well so far. And the way the funding is set up with the voting rewards, I think Internet Computer is in the position to just be a leader in the crypto space indefinitely and to continue to grow and grow and grow. So uh, what's my profit taking strategy? Internet computer has voting rewards. So if you go to the network nervous system, I'll, I'll sign in and show you my exact neuron because I'm a big believer in full transparency. And I, I do not watch anyone now on crypto YouTube that I don't know exactly what their portfolio is and that they won't show that for free. I'm not paying X dumb or dollars a month to see your portfolio. If you won't show me your portfolio for free, then I don't know where your confirmation biases are. Build Freedom, thank you very much for the your first ever $10 super chat on the live stream. Really appreciate it. So my profit, this is my profit taking strategy for internet computer. I have 2,900 internet computer locked up for eight years and I'm not unlocking it. I plan on leaving this at least 20 years. And then I get maturity. That is, I'll show you how much maturity I get. In the dashboard, you can search a neuron up here. And this will show you exactly what you're going to get. So this is exactly what my neuron pays out. So my neuron pays out 16.4% right now. I get 1.33 maturity every day on average. Some days I get like two or three other days I don't get any. This is my profit plan. I just sit on the pa I just get these voting rewards indefinitely. And I never have to touch my principal. That uh, what I've learned in eight years, nine years in crypto is the my own worst enemy has been me taking my profits. And that's why I saw Internet Computer and how they've designed the tokenomics and the voting and the network nervous system. You can just feel the sheer quantity of intelligence and thought put into designing this whole system. And to me, the profit-taking strategy is to just leave your principal in locked up forever, and then uh, I'm selling my voting rewards. What I'm doing with my voting rewards right now, I'm not even selling them. I'm taking my voting rewards and investing in projects. So what I've got right now, thank you, Ellie, for the $5 super chat. You're first super chat that you've ever done on the stream yes i am as whatever cash i have available 15 percent or more of my income every month i'm continuing to put into icp i'll let you know when i stop but i bought thousands of dollars of icp this month alone and i got paid from a community grant on definity i uh, sent some of that out in payments that i owed others but i staked the, the majority of that I staked and added to my ICP position. So I am building this position up indefinitely. I'm buying the ICP and locking it forever. And then when the voting rewards come out, I need to pay taxes on these. So all I do is click spawn a neuron. And uh, this, this thing just is, it just shoots out maturity, which turns into ICP in seven days. I, what I've noticed in nine years in crypto is that is the absolute dream where you can leave your principal without touching it and get rewards based on your principal. There's I don't see anything better than that. However, so let me qualify that. What we've seen in other cryptos is that just having that system by itself means nothing. 
where internet computer is special is you combine the technology. Things like vet keys getting launched, which we've talked about, allowing all kinds of new functionality. Things like the founder who is very involved in the project, constantly presenting it all over the world, working out some of the best partnerships you could hope for right now that span the globe. Uh, a founder who has inspired some of the best people in crypto to come work for him and collaborate with him. A founder who is, from what he's telling us here, he's telling us that he's got big enterprise partnerships already lined up that he can't publicly reveal yet. And he's giving us an idea of imagine open chat runs 100% on chain with no need for firewalls or cybersecurity. So this, when you combine the uh, voting rewards and the technology and the massive utility and the clear, the circulating supply is actually, the, the real supply of ICP has actually went up 3.6%. I mean, this, this, this triggered for me thinking this is too good to be true. Like this checks every single thing I possibly could want in crypto. Build freedom. I have a couple accounts on ICP, but I'm wondering how those numbered accounts can be tracked. What do you mean? So you use your internet identity and then you link them up with your the cryptographic environment in your device, whether it's your phone or your tablet or your PC or a security key that you get, you link those up. If you wanna look on how the internet identity works, I of course have a tutorial on that and you can search Jerry Banfield internet identity. I would definitely watch this internet identity tutorial. You all asked for this for quite a while. 28 minute tutorial talking about things like recovery phrases, authorizing devices this is very important you really need to know how all that stuff works so basically x i don't know exactly what will be on icp but if you look at at dominique's post here it's clear he's not allowed to say what it is yet but it's clear there's some partnership in the background that is being built and what you need to understand is some of the stuff it takes a while to build stuff. It takes a while. This marketplace, Bionic, this marketplace single-handedly has exploded the use of chain key Bitcoin on internet computer. This marketplace took most of 2023 to build, where Definity had to get the technology out there and make it available, and then people start building on it and using it. Another thing Dominic said recently that's in bookmarks, I'll, I'll find this for you. There's... There are a ton. Of, this is like, this is so clever. Now look at this. Instead of trying to go the route of getting a bunch of stable coins directly on ICP, Chain Key USDC and Chain Key USDT, these are only a few weeks away now, where the huge, you know, billions and billions of dollars in stable coins will all, these will all be able to be deposited on internet computer and used as stable coins now instant massive liquidity on internet computer you've got a here look at this look at this there is i mean this is how i do my research i find stuff i bookmark it tracks is having its sale and they're saying they have a grunge pop superstar with over a million followers that she just released exclusive track tracks on tracks she just released exclusive songs on tracks i mean this the signs are all there my friends the signs are all there tracks is a hosted on built on internet computer music like spotify social media style platform i've shown that in a previous video yes stan the icp text some of it is closed source right now and some of it's closed source right now because they don't want crypto is full of developers and entrepreneurs who will simply take other people's technology and code copy it and launch your own blockchain and some of these blockchains that are basically copying one set of code copying another set of code and putting those two together some some crypto copies like that have market caps close to as big as internet computers and this is a problem mainly because your average user in crypto can't tell the difference. 
between breakthrough technology, like internet computer, like vet keys, like chain key Bitcoin, chain key Ethereum, AI on chain, fully on chain games, apps. Your average crypto user can't tell the difference between a basically a copied blockchain versus massive innovation, the best technology in crypto. Your average user, when they're scrolling price charts, they can't tell the difference. And they often are more likely to get suckered into the, the copied blockchain. So logically, Definity is keeping their most innovative code is closed source right now, which makes sense because once ICP gets the level of adoption that we're seeing internet that we're seeing Dominic talk about once ICP gets that level of adoption then it doesn't matter as much if somebody else just copies the code and tries to run it themselves the ICP technology is also it's it's still in its infancy things like Bitcoin have been out since 2009 ICP the tech they've been working on it for years but the tech is still in its infancy so you don't want, <laughs> I, I like some of y'all are, yeah, y'all are, some of y'all are good at reading between the lines. <laughs> it makes sense that Definity does not simply want the technology copied and thrown out there as a separate blockchain where people are getting ripped off with a development team that if they just copied the ICP technology, they could probably raise a bunch of money and get a bunch of people to buy it, but they couldn't really innovate it the way ICP is. And also, if they open source it at this point, this is breakthrough technology. It is more vulnerable to being exploited or, you know, potential problems being maliciously found instead of like bug bounties and hunting for it in house. <laughs> so anybody who is not excited about Internet Computer Protocol to me has simply not done their own research. That's all it is. It's simply in my mind, it's ignorance and I can. I've been, thank you for becoming a member, Allegios. Thank you for being a member for one month of the Jerry Banfield family. To me, if you don't like ICP and you're in crypto, the only reason that I can see that's valid for that is you haven't done your own research on it. And to be fair, I didn't do my own research on ICP. All I did is do a surface look, do a, this... This, I, I'll show you this. This, unfortunately, is, this is crypto in a nutshell. So let me show you. Earlier this year, before I got all in on ICP, let me show you my most popular videos. Now, keep in mind, my most popular videos, this was on a brand new crypto channel. I started from zero in December 2022. This one, a brand new channel with hardly any subscribers when I put this video out. I got 23,000 views. By doing a video about Cardano, I knew very little about Cardano. I just put a price on it, a coin on it, my face with an open mouth, you know, for, very formulaic. And I got 23,000 views on that. I did videos about other cryptos, same thing. I barely knew anything about them. And I did one on Internet Computer Protocol around this same time. And I didn't even really understand the value of Internet Computer. And unfortunately, that's crypto in a nutshell. I had not done much research on internet computer. Since then, I have done hundreds of hours of research on internet computer. And as a content creator, if you're just chasing the most views in the shortest amount of time, the strategy I did here is very effective. Just put videos up, hyping every altcoin up and put some huge price on it. And what do you get? You get views, you get money, you sell courses, you sell calls, anything you wanna sell, you sell. As a content, a lot of people who do what I do are so focused on just cranking out content and making money, a lot of people who do what I do are not actually researching any more than just reinforcing their own point of view. And at this point, as far in as I am with Internet Computer, I'm I'm kind of locked in confirmation bias at this point myself because almost all the almost all I do is research Internet Computer at this point. However, 
I only found the internet computer and realized it was different because I decided I poured time and energy into researching every altcoin in my portfolio. Actually, because of the things you all were saying on my live streams earlier this year, I was saying that the, the best thing to do is just put half your portfolio in Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it's like, really? Nine years in crypto and the best advice you have or the best example you have with what you're doing with your own money is to put everything, most of your portfolio on Bitcoin and Ethereum. You all called me out on that. Dan, thank you for your first ever super chat. $20. Really appreciate it. Thank you this for the super chat, Dan. Where was I? So what I did earlier this year, you all kept criticizing me on my live stream saying that, Jerry, come on, there's got to be something better than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Given how old the technology is at this point and how many altcoins are saying that they're the new, they're the new, you know, the next Ethereum or the Ethereum killer. So I, I went into my portfolio. I went all across crypto and uh, I looked to try and find like what is the absolute best in terms of technology. Samir says, I heard Definity has problems before. I mean, what hasn't had problems before? Everything has problems. I mean, you need to be more specific. Every, everything has problems in life. The question is, what level, what are they giving? What are they giving? This is what they're giving. Vet keys, verifiable encrypted threshold keys. They invented something new that did not exist before. Sure, Definity has problems. Like all of us, you know, I, I like to think I don't have very many problems at this point, And I work on whatever ones I come across. Definity is giving massive value to the world right now. It is giving the best of what I see in crypto. Yes, El Chingon says the ICP team has patented their technology, so if somebody else wanted to copy, they would have to go through a hurdle. <laughs> it is, Lexatric. I have gotten to the point I can't stand that as well either. Because, but here's the thing though. It's, it's a lot, a lot of life is, you know, where is your mindset? If your mindset is, you know, that you're clicking on these 1000X videos, what I realized, the more I did my own research in crypto, most of the information everybody was sharing was not well-researched. It, it was not well-researched in terms of the bigger picture. If you want to see my particular opinion on any crypto, I reviewed hundreds of cryptos earlier this year. All you need to do is type Jerry Banfield plus whatever crypto you want. It'll even suggest some of the ones that I've reviewed. And that you might want to research. But just put Jerry Banfield plus any crypto. I've I've done a review on uh, hundreds of cryptos just this year. So if you want to see some institutional interest, there is a partnership with Taurus. ICP Taurus. ICP is absolutely in a, a great position for getting institutional adoption. And there's already proof of that happening. I'll show you an article here on, I'll show you an article on it. So Taurus announced a strategic collaboration with Definity to add its native ICP token and staking abilities to its custody platform. Well, what is Taurus? Taurus, let's scroll down and, and tell you what is Taurus. Taurus is a Swiss company founded in April 2018 that provides enterprise-grade digital asset infrastructure to issue to custody and trade any digital assets. With more than 60% of the market share in Switzerland, it is also a European leader in the banking sec segment, trusted by the full spectrum of financial institutions. So I appreciate some of your comments giving me the chance to present my research to you because almost always you all suggest things that I've already thought of or researched. I thought of, yes, any, any enterprises or big level interest? Absolutely. This is one particular example of Taurus 
bringing institutional, you know, banking grade digital asset custody. They have, I looked at this, they have billions and billions of dollars, according to what I've seen, in custody, even a small, small, small percent of uh, Taurus assets going in internet computer would equal millions, potential tens of millions of dollars. So, Peter Mack, thank you very much for another super chat. The internet computer absolutely is well positioned for institutional adoption. I mean, look at this post Dominic just made. Enterprise IT market. Obviously, when you're entering the enterprise IT market, the bigger partnerships you have, the more utility you have, the more demand you have, the more everybody else is going to want to get in on it. That's exactly that's exactly what's happened with Bitcoin. Bitcoin finally has got so many people involved that now Larry Fink of BlackRock, now he wants in on Bitcoin. And it took a while between when Larry Fink discovered Bitcoin and between when Larry Fink decided he liked Bitcoin. Because when he first found it, he didn't like it. Unknown says, is crypto worth to invest in other coins? So I went through this quite a bit earlier with myself. Like, should I put all my Bitcoin? At the time, my biggest crypto position a few months ago was Bitcoin. I thought long and hard about, should I put all my Bitcoin? Ben Adams, thank you very much for your first super chat ever. Five pounds, really appreciate you, Ben. I have not bought anything on Bionic yet. So I thought long and hard about, oh, long, hard, yeah. I thought long and hard about whether I wanted to put all my Bitcoin into internet computer. Dan with another 20 bomb going back to back with that last one. Thank you. Dan still has his last 20 bomb up here and there's another one up there. Thank you, Dan, for another $20 super chat. And if you want the best notification and to cut the middleman out, you always can send crypto directly on the one up coin link as well. So I thought long and hard about whether it's worth investing in other tokens to diversify. So the best I can educate is my what I'm doing myself. Minimo, nice to see you. So this is why I suggest do not watch anyone who will not make their positions clear to you. That will do not watch anyone who will not tell you exactly what they actually are holding. So I'll show you exactly what I'm holding. I have 2,907 internet computer. As you can imagine, that is the majority of my portfolio. I also have a little bit of open chat. I think this comes out to maybe $100 or so of open chat. I think this hot or not. So I have internet computer. Then I have like 100 in open chat, about 50 or 100 in hot or not. I have like 50 or 100 or so of boom Dow. Like about the same amounts of Nuance and Sonic. Then I put 50 ICP into Gold Dow, which is the largest I've put into anything so far, which should give me at least 10,000 Gold Dow out of a billion supply. And as soon as Trax gets going, and as soon as this Neuron gets cranked out with ICP that I just earned from staking, how long is this Trax sale? I am uh, going to put some ICP, some more ICP into tracks directly that I've got from staking. And uh, maybe I'll crank out, I'll crank out another neuron. I'll go ahead and crank out more maturity right now. I'm going to crank five more maturity out so I can put that into tracks. So what I'm doing right now is just cranking maturity out of my neuron and then I'm putting my staking rewards into some of these other proposals. Like tracks, I definitely want to get at least 10 ICP at a minimum of tracks. And maybe more of that. So I'm going to take the neurons that I've spawned out here from staking. And we're going to drop those into tracks. So I do have a slight bit of diversification. But Binance just ran out of ICP for the third I don't know if it's the third day in a row or a third time this week. That is insane. You can see the buy. I'll show you an app called 221 Bravo. So I, to me, diversification makes sense if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, it makes sense to diversify. 
and just throw your money around and hope for the best. In my opinion, which this is all my opinion, isn't it? I think diversification does not make sense once you trust your own research and you know what you're doing. Now, crypto is big and uh, there's lots of things that can happen. Of course, what I see is that I came to the conclusion for Internet Computer earlier that if I really know what I'm talking about and I really trust my own research, then the logical thing to do is to go all in on Internet Computer. Like, that's that's the only thing that makes sense. If you If I really know what I'm doing in crypto, if I really believe my own research, then all everything was indicating to me a few months ago that, you know, Internet Computer is the only place to be. That there's no reason to use... There's no reason to have anything outside that based on my own research. So that's why I put 100% into Internet Computer. Because based on my own research, there's no place better to be. So here's here's something you can see on 221 Bravo. What you can see is the amazing amount of ICP getting drained from exchanges right now. And this, I believe this also counts. I don't know if this counts the 4 million at all from Binance or not. 1.3 million ICP in seven days has been drained from exchanges. And keep in mind, the seed investors, that's a net. So that includes what the seed investors and the staking reward or the net node rewards. That includes millions of ICP that was just unstaked and combined unstaked and given to node providers. I mean, this the amount of ICP going off exchanges right now is crazy. And then getting locked up in a nervous system is nuts. Are there any benefits of owning a canister? So the big breakthrough with ICP is canister smart contracts, where there's this canister environment up to 96 gigabytes of code data you can pour into a canister and then the canister can call out to other canisters to interact with those call out to web 2 sources like apis so you can do https out calls thank you stan for a five to another five dollar super chat so i don't the the only reason you need a canister is if you're doing something like i'm hosting my website at jerrybanfield.com on internet computer protocol so I have canisters that host my website front end and back end on internet computers. So yes, I have a canister. But in terms of like just buying a canister, yeah, there's yeah, there's I don't see a benefit to doing that. So my my thought is once I do my own research and I know better is either I believe my own research or I don't. So the biggest thing people do wrong in crypto is spend too much time looking at price charts and hype and not enough time getting into actually using a technology. I had a one-on-one -on -one call recently scheduled on my website where I, a, I, a guy I talked to earlier this year before I went all in on ICP sent me his portfolio and asked for my feedback and specifically my, my positives like and criticism. And so, of course, I said, you don't have any ICP. I guess you haven't seen my videos lately. And then, uh, I mean, he might have had a little bit of ICP. But the main thing I asked him out of his, you know, he had like big positions with, you know, tens of thousands and then smaller positions with not that much. And I said, uh, my advice was get rid of all your small positions. So, like all these little, like this get rid of the small positions like figure out where the best places are and put into those and don't screw around with small positions that you don't know about and then out of your big positions are there any of those you have never used before and he said yes there's this one crypto he'd never used it all he'd done is bought it and left it on exchange he'd never even sent it off an exchange before i'm like that's always always take your crypto off exchanges always use the technology never just buy something and let it sit there as a speculative asset use the technology because then you can viscerally feel for yourself and this is the third time in in three to five days that binance has suspended icp withdrawals because people are buying it people are buying it too fast 
Infinite Speed says, doesn't that concern you? Wait, did I miss something else? ICP can be... Or, so, what you can see in ICP that's special that we've, we've never seen in another big crypto in, at this kind of scale is in ICP, there's two... Wow, this number just shot up. There's 203 million ICP that's staked and not dissolving. And this number recently just... Oh, all right. So just a few days ago, it was like 202 million. Who just locked up another million ICP? Somebody just locked up another million ICP. I don't know if it was people or, you know, one person, but... Can I zoom in? and Yeah, some... All right, so... Just a couple days ago, in the last day, wow, how much was locked up and where? In the last day, 1 million ICP in the last day or two. 1 million ICP was just locked up for, I imagine, for six months to a year. And it's not currently unlocking. 1 million, 1 million ICP was just locked up in a single day. For zero to one years. Gold Dow has not actually got the ICP sent to them yet. Maybe maybe some of that counts Gold Dow. Maybe Gold Dow's counting some of that. But make sure in... So Internet Computer has 203 million that cannot be dumped. Like most all of this cannot be dumped at least in six months. At a bare minimum. And you've got 130 some million that can't be even sold for a minimum of eight years. And there's 44 million unlocking right now. We've already went through almost 80 million of unlocks. So there's a total of 247 million that can't even be locked. And right now people are locking ICP up. If I'm reading this correctly. So if we go back a year, if we go back a year, there was 180 million ICP locked, and now there's 203. So that's tr 23 million ICP that was locked in the last year. And if you go back to the circulation, there was 493 a year ago. So uh, that would be, right now, there's been 18 million new supply issued, and there have been 20... So a year ago, there was 18 million less ICP than today, if I, my math is right. And uh, in the same amount of time, there have been 23 million ICP locked. So in the last year, despite the huge amount of ICP dissolving, in the last year, 5 million more ICP has been locked than has been inflated. The, uh, does that making sense? 5 million more ICP, essentially all of the new ICP has been effectively been staked and locked plus 5 million more. Now there is ICP that's unlocking. Most of the big unlocks are going to be finished in April 2024. So uh, Nino Potato says, how big can ICP actually get? Think about how big the entire internet is and having a world computer that you could build everything on. I mean, to me, ICP could get at least as big as Amazon Web Services, which right now there's like 50 million websites that run on Amazon Web Services. It's, it's massive. So if you want to see how to stake your ICP, search for Jerry Banfield Network Nervous System. And there's a video right here where I talk about a 40-minute tutorial on how to get your ICP into the network nervous system out of an exchange and then lock it up and I explain all my thinking behind that. And what's nice is the network nervous system is it eliminates the need for me to use anything else. Like I don't need a ledger anymore because the network nervous system comes with the recovery phrase and it is linked directly to my cryptographic environments in my phone, in my computer. There's no need for a hardware wallet now. Yes, Alexatric, that's it looks like to me that it's very attractive for institutions to lock ICP up to gain that yield. Because the absolute dream, the absolute dream in finance is to get yield in an appreciating asset. That that's the dream. 
<laughs> I, uh, I obviously am ignoring any questions that I don't think merit an answer. And if you want to develop a very valuable life skill, learn how to simply ignore things or laugh at things that, you know, don't seem relevant or to say no to certain situations. If one thing that's helped me a lot in crypto, when I first started crypto, I was in just getting sober. And before that, you know, I was an alcoholic who drank every, you know, a hand, like a gallon of vodka a week. I just did a video yesterday. One thing that helps me a lot in my day-to-day -day life is being sober. And uh, by being sober, I'm, you know, I... I don't use any mind-altering substances. I don't take any medications. I'm totally sober. My mind is totally clear. It's it's hard. Uh, crypto is the kind of environment that attracts people with addictions right now, especially gambling addictions, alcoholism. You know, the, it as you can see from some of the other crypto creators who've really lost it, not to name any names. You know, here's a video for them, like. If you want to see my journey to staying sober, staying sober has been a big part of my investing in crypto too, to have a sound state of mind and body. If you're struggling with alcoholism or you got somebody in your life, I yesterday on my original channel, I did a two and a half hour full story of you know all my drinking and how I got sober. So if you'd like to, if you want to really get to know me better, this video, I definitely definitely watch that video and if you want to see how i do what i do on youtube i'm going live tomorrow talking showing all my youtube income and analytics on all three of my channels i think you'll really enjoy that yes i do eat mostly vegan <laughs> spanky you could probably buy all of them jeremy says good way of dealing with that some of the interesting comments i get is you know, people are surprised at how I respond to my chat. Well, I've done thousands of live streams. I've heard every nasty thing you could possibly imagine at this point. These crypto streams are nice. These crypto streams are great. Lisa remembers my gaming streams. Those were brutal. Those, and I had more of an ego about my gameplay than I do about my crypto investing, which is funny. David says, how is, so I imagine you mean Binance. How is Binance running out of ICP a good thing? Binance and these exchanges are running out of ICP for one of two basic reasons. One, they've got so much of it in there. They only keep a small amount in their hot wallet. And when people buy and withdraw too much of it, it drains their hot wallet. Then they need to go... You know, call Brian out of the office or whatever in Coinbase to use his key to send a transaction out of the cold wallet. So that's one big reason exchanges can run out of wallets is if you have a lot of people buy and withdraw in a short period of time, the hot wallet can get drained. And uh, another reason that's possible is sometimes exchanges that are dishonest are putting in, they're selling people crypto they don't actually have because until you go to withdraw it they can get away with selling crypto they don't really have as long as you don't withdraw it they can just show you that you've got the crypto and if you don't withdraw it then you could sell the crypto back and they can make a profit selling you crypto they didn't even have so this is why it's essential never hold money on exchanges not only is the money not yours if you're holding money on a dishonest exchange, which I would imagine a lot of exchanges in crypto are dishonest, where they're doing things that if if you were aware of what they were doing, you would be shocked and you would never have your money on their exchange. And things like double, triple, sometimes perhaps even 10x selling more, 10 times more crypto than they actually have, and then making a profit and then shorting the crypto and then rebuying a whole bunch so that they can actually cover things. There are, this, that also could be a reason why some of these exchanges, when too many people try and withdraw at once, they can't fill the withdrawals because either their hot wallet has it or their cold wallet has it, or there is no cold wallet. They literally don't have any more. They've oversold the crypto they supposedly had. <laughs> Nicky says CZ stole all the ICP when he cleared out his desk. 
So I don't want to call out a particular exchange as being dishonest because I have no proof. What I operate on is energy and what feels, you know, I tend to be attracted to people in places that are loving and kind. I tend to summon angels rather than demons into my life. I tend to stay away from, like when I do the Lord's Prayer, I say, instead of, you know, forgive us our trespasses, I say, let's just prevent my trespasses so that they don't happen in the first place and help me avoid people who would trespass against me. I personally avoid Binance. I avoid KuCoin. I do do a swap. If I want to swap something, I will swap on MEXC. But the only place I take fiat and deposit and buy and then withdraw is Coinbase. I've been on Coinbase for almost 10 years now. So I have a very high level of trust in Coinbase. They're US owned company with stockholders. I have the highest trust in Coinbase, but but not enough trust to leave my money on Coinbase. I always get my money off immediately. I buy all my ICP on Coinbase, unless I have some other crypto. I have a couple of other cryptos, which I will not name because I think I don't think they're very good. And at the time I bought them, I locked them and staked them and I can't get out of them. But I exchange some of those. I'll swap those on Maxi to ICP as soon as I can go down. Yes, the ICP yield will absolutely go down. It, well, theoretically. So the ICP yield is based on the circulating supply. So the ICP voting rewards function drops a little bit at a time to a flat line of 5% in 2029. Right now, it's it's dropped. It was at 10%. It's dropped to 7 from there since Genesis. And over the next five or so years, it will drop to five. However, if you remember my neuron before, my neuron actually is getting an age bonus. So your neuron's age bonus can be up to 50%. An age bonus is you leave it in there and don't touch it. One of the ideal ways to stake ICP could be to put it in for like six months and then just leave it for four years and accumulate the age bonus. And then in a, you, the age bonus will give you more voting rewards, although at any time when you go to withdraw it, you lose the age bonus. But at any time, you could take your money out within six months and you would... Uh, continually get higher voting power i it looks like i'm going to essentially stay around 16 percent as long as my age bonus accumulates and it's based on how much other people stake so the more other people lock up icp for eight years the lower my voting rewards will go because i'm getting 16 percent because right now I'm a part of the 134 million that are locked for eight years, and you get double the rewards locking for eight years. Whereas if you lock for six months right now, you're getting 8.6%, which considering you could then withdraw any time six months from when you decided to withdraw. Now, if you set it for six months, once you go under six months left, you don't earn anything. So what you would not want to do is stake for six months and then immediately start dissolving. You would get nothing doing that. So, for example, if you set it for a year and you immediately started dissolving, you'd only get 9% for half a year. So it'd equal about 4.5%. You'd stop getting rewards once it got down to six months. I think that we've answered that one good. Yes, Lexatrix says if your money is on a centralized exchange, you don't have it in your possession. And that's it's not even it doesn't even necessarily exist. You, there may be people that there may be people thinking they've got all this money. But in some cases, there might be two twice as many people thinking they have exchange money on an exchange versus how much is actually there. Yes, yeah, so because of the age bonus, I should continue getting above 10% rewards until there's until the amount of ICP locked really hits the roof at the 8 plus year level. So if the amount of ICP locked doubles at the 8 year level. So if you get 134 million ICP, if there's that much more that's locked for 8 years, then with my age bonus 
I might then only get 6-7%. And then if you lock for 6 months, you might only get 1-2%. So that, that works out really well. We've been live an hour and 40 minutes now. Wow, time flies when I'm listening to myself talk. Any other questions we should answer? We've dived into vet keys and what a big deal this is. We've looked at Dominic saying ICP technology will enter the enterprise market. Vet keys is a very clear indicator of how that can happen. I've shown you open chat is a very clear use case for why that could happen open chat the community on open chats the best place to chat with me you can join there's a free channel i do miss some of the posts in here sometimes the best place to talk to me is in the vip one icp channel and then in the diamond channel as well i've got links to that on my website and uh, i have not bought anything on bionic everything it looks everything is looking great if you want Tomorrow's live stream, I'll be going over all my YouTube analytics, talking about how much YouTube paid me, insights from three different channels. If you're interested in how this works, I think you'll really enjoy this. I live stream every other day on this Jerry Banfield original channel, and then uh, I alternate with streams on this crypto channel the other days, because it, some of you have asked why I don't just stream on that main original channel I made in 2011. Because the algorithm is is slaying on this channel. I mean, over 200 viewers, like the entire time. I mean, that's that's the algorithm's kicking butt on this channel, and that's because the audience is on this channel. So the this older channel, the audience is not. You know, those subscribers are mostly old. I deleted all the videos and restarted the channel this year. So this this channel is a lot more personal experience, a lot more fun. Or uh. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. Jeremy, appreciate you being here. Let's see. Voting rewards should go to around 12 to 14% on an eight-year with full dissolve delay once they reach their terminal level. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like to me. It, it depends on how much is staked, though. So at the present levels of staking, the voting rewards with a f eight eight-year lock not unlocking with a full age bonus should be 12 to 14 percent but i think the amount of icp that gets locked for eight years is going to go up quite a bit and uh, that's that will take the rewards down for everybody but it'll also lock more do i have a direct line to dominic i don't think so i mean i could direct mess i don't think dominic follows me on twitter but uh, I, I mean, I could probably get a hold of Dominic. I think, I think the first time Dominic saw me, uh, you know, great, great guy for first impressions. I think the first time Dominic saw any video I made was this one. I think the first video Dominic saw of mine was this one talking about the Internet Computer Protocol death spiral. <laughs> so I think that was my first impression with Dominic because he posted right after that talking about having some sober discussion about the tokenomics but who knows i did get a community grant from definity so as they, they certainly like me good enough uh yes jeremy if 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 the amount of holders doubles then the voting rewards will be divided among the holders so icp is designed to have about 90 percent of it locked up so if the amount of holders double then the rewards, the average rewards should never go below 5% if you're staking for eight years. But anybody that's not locked for eight years with the age bonus could definitely go much below that. It would be great if you could post videos about each voting opportunity. That's, that's, I think somebody else could do a better job on that. There's too many votes and proposals for me to cover. And my... My genius or what I'm good at is doing long in-depth live streams, which does not lend itself very well to doing videos on each proposal. However, if you've got a laptop and your laptop has a microphone or any better setup than that, you easily could start filming videos about your thoughts on various ICP proposals. And I imagine there would be a good audience for that because... If you film every proposal right when it comes out, in most cases, there'd be at least three days 
for people to vote on it. And then there'd be a record of every proposal on YouTube. So I think that would be a great content idea for any of you that are really into ICP is to do a video about every single proposal. You, I, I don't, and I, so recently there was a presentation at Google in Indonesia by an ICP hub where they were talking about ICP. If you want, you can, I, the easiest thing to do to vote as I stated in my tutorial, is I just follow Definity. I mean, at this point, why wouldn't I follow Definity? So what you, I, if you look on my neuron, I'll load my neuron up again and show you. All I do is just follow Definity's votes. The network is so young at this point, there's no point in voting differently than Definity either. Now, in theory, in the future, maybe there could be, but at this point, at this point, I'm following Definity Foundation on everything. Why wouldn't I just follow their votes? Definity votes on almost everything. And Definity, in theory, is in the position to make the most informed decision. And they have the most invested in making the best decisions. I mean, you know, my little investment compared to what the people at Definity have is nothing. They've got a, a, a big incentive to upgrade the network in a way that's good for everybody so the the easiest thing to do is just go to follow neurons you have to follow on all three of these or you will not vote on everything i follow definity foundation on everything maybe in the future i'll change that up but definity also has a, a very good incentive to vote on almost everything do they vote on everything most of the proposals i see they do vote on what I do also to make this easier is I used to manually vote, but that's pointless because it looks like what Definity does. They, in many cases, wait till the propol they wait to see how other people are voting. They wait to see how other people are voting and then they cast their vote now to, to help give other people a chance to make a decision. Yes, if you follow Definity, you have to follow on all three topics as well. Like I just showed you, because the way they're set up is all except governance and neurons fund, then there's governance and neurons fund. So you have to follow on all three to make sure to vote for everything. But it looks like Definity votes on most of the proposals, if not all. And uh, yeah, you just follow Definity and you just get the rewards. You don't have to do anything else. Now, at some point, it certainly might be appropriate to consider following other people this besides Definity. Definity has a lot of voting power and a lot of followers at this point. So practically it it does help, for example, it looks like Definity considers the community's votes before they cast their votes. So if the community all votes no on something, it looks like Definity is in most cases would probably follow that and they're definitely taking the community's votes into consideration. So at various points, I have manually voted on most proposals, but I also found I vote yes on most proposals, except there was one garbage proposal a couple days ago that I voted no on. So yes, all you have to do is follow Definity. They vote on almost everything for you. It's super easy. Don had a choice to send Bitcoin or CKBTC. So if you were in the network nervous system, what you to send Bitcoin, you have, this is a internet computer address. If you got a Bitcoin address like this, you needed to have the Bitcoin address itself. This is the format you should have got an address in. And once that is confirmed, then it will show up in your chain key Bitcoin balance. You should check your Bitcoin wallet because if you didn't pay enough of a fee, your transfer may not have went through at all. It depends on what kind of wallet you use. For example, you can set your fee easily in the official Bitcoin wallet. And if you don't pay a high enough fee, the transaction will not go through on that. Does ICP screen launches? So... Yes, Definity votes on every single launch. From what I see, if Definity does not want something to launch, it will not launch. And that has been a subject of some criticism. 
because people are saying, well, it's not really decentralized because if Definity doesn't, I already voted on this. Why does it, is this another one? Oh no, this is another one. I haven't voted. Wow, so there's another. Oh, so this is the ICP coins one. So I'll definitely vote yes on the ICP coins one. If from as much voting power as Definity has, if they do not want a project to pass or get launched, I think if everybody voted yes and Definity voted no, I think because of how many people are following Definity that it probably would not go through. So at this point, but what you can see from the voting power is that Definity is constantly reducing their voting power. If you look on the home page, or maybe it's the circulation the governance page, if you look on the governance page, the, the voting power of Definity has dropped from 40% down to 20%. However, you have to consider there are a lot of people like me that are following Definity. So yes, if, if some if some application that was awful tried to launch a service nervous system, then I'm sure Definity could make that make their vote right away and everybody following them would vote the same way to block that from happening. That said, it's theoretically possible in the future that as Definity stated that they're slowly and intentionally contributing to the decentralization of ICP over time, it looks like in the future it would be possible that if enough stakeholders voted to pass something, even if Definity voted against it, it still could pass theoretically in the future. Right now, even though Definity has 20% of the voting power, it looks like there's a lot more voting power like mine that's following Definity. So I think. I've seen people say that Definity can basically vote anything, yes or no, by themselves. However, if their voting power continues to drop like this, as it has been, then uh, the, the network will continue to get more and more decentralized over time. You can sell an internet identity. You cannot sell a neuron directly. You can sell an internet identity. You can sell a wallet with a neuron in it. Exactly. All right, my friends, I think we've we've really, yes, we've covered this in detail. I think it's a good time to wrap up now. We've got hour and 52 minutes, and then I'll have some time to, what day is it? Friday, get ready to hang out with the kids coming home, go to soccer, put the kids to bed tonight. I, uh, so Nikki asked about the voting power. What I did with mine, you can see what I did, which... The best, the best example is either what somebody did or what they regret that they did. What I did is I just let the first 71 maturity I earned, I just staked that. But since I'm staking for eight years, I can't get this out for eight years either. And there's some debate on whether this is taxable income or not. Some people would say this 71 ICP is taxable income, even though it's, it's not ICP, it's maturity. Maturity has to be converted to ICP and I cannot actually get a hold of this. I think the this so this is not a big deal at the current state of ICP like you know I I always make sure like with taxes and money to I make sure to do things conservatively because as a public figure I figure it's it's very smart for me to always be prepared to be audited to make sure I'm I'm never doing anything that I wouldn't want to be audited on so I'm pretty conservative and uh, an example of me being conservative is instead of restaking the maturity going forward, I'm just going to spawn the maturity because then I know I am required to pay tax on it when it spawns. And then what I can do is just instead of buying ICP and putting it straight into a project, I can at this point spawn my maturity, pay tax on it, and then stick it into a launch pad or... When I get, when I get tired of that, then I can just sell the ICP if I want to. So to me, basically, it, it depends. Yeah, on what I if if there's projects I want to invest in on the network on the launchpad, 
that I'm putting into those. Otherwise, then I just sell my maturity. Since I have to pay tax on it anyway, I just sell it. Yes, so I agree with you that maturity is not a taxable event. I agree with you. I agree that maturity is not a taxable event. However, it is possible that it could be viewed depending on what your auditor thought and how the laws go forward. It, it could be thought of. I, I'm glad that they changed it to maturity. I agree that I don't think it's taxable until you spawn it either. I agree with that. And it... However, the, the conservative approach to take is I instead of restaking, I just constantly spawn my maturity and put it into other projects or sell it and then just leave my principal locked up forever. So I. Uh, my view is if I want to add to my principal, it's better for me to just buy some ICP and add that to my principal. And then I can just sell the staking rewards. I I agree it's probably not taxable. You can't sell maturity. It doesn't have any value. I And that's, I started staking it initially, but. So here's the issue. If, if it gets to be worth a whole lot of money, it, it is basically a workaround to avoid taxable events. However, you know, if you got an auditor with a thing up their butt and then, you know, ICP blows up, it'd be silly to get this huge tax bill on it. So better to just spawn the maturity and sell it and then uh, just buy into ICP that I want to add to the principal. I, I agree. But like I said, since I'm a public figure, I take a pretty conservative approach so that if I ever get audited, I've absolutely paid whatever tax will be owed and more. So that way I can sleep at night and I don't have to go around worried about what could go on. That's that's kind of a liability of doing what I do is I expect that any little aspect of my life could be dissected and publicly detailed. So that's in your position, you can do what you want to this. That's what I'm doing. I'm spawning the maturity and putting it on into other ICP projects for now. And in 2020, 24, how many in 2024 or 2025 i might just sell some of the icp depending on what goes on Corey, nice to see you today <laughs> yes i i have some legit expenses related to profits as well for my channel which is nice and leroy it's possible especially as DeFi continues to develop and leroy i don't know if that's set up now but i'm sure somebody will build that all right, my friends, thanks for a great time today. The next live stream will be on Sunday. I will go ahead and get that scheduled now, but you can always check my two channels. You can always check my two channels and see when the next live stream is scheduled. I'll go ahead and schedule that right after this one. And uh, my next live stream is tomorrow on my original channel about talking about how much you know I get paid on YouTube and my entire business system. So I would love for you to join us there if you're available. A lot more, you know, very small, close-knit community on here. A lot smaller than this channel. So we'd love to see you there if you're available. I love you each. Thanks to you. Thank you very much for being here today. And I'll post the recording on X. And if you're available, I'll hope to see you tomorrow.